I was going after the lower paid contracts. You'll have to excuse me, I pressed the wrong button on the phone, so we'll have to make this a part two. So, welcome back to the channel, people. I pressed the wrong button in part one. So you're gonna have to watch part one to get to this point. You're gonna have to watch this part one to get this point. But basically, I was talking about having role models, the right role models in your life. Having the right role models to propel you to the next level. And of course, there are models, there are people in your life who could be keeping you down, dragging you down, the wrong company. Low ambition. People who have low expectations of you. And you see sometimes when you surround yourself with these people, they're not going anywhere fast in life themselves. They are not going anywhere fast in life themselves. They've got so, such a low ambition for themselves. Of course they're going to have a low ambition for you. Low expectations for you. So we were talking about in the, old, the, the last video about having the right role models and how somebody called Robin, it was a couple, Robin and his wife, they introduced me to Amway. It's an organization, it's a multi-level, multi-level marketing organization. Some say it's a pyramid scheme. Anyway, I used to go with them to all the conferences and it was at one particular conference. They gave me, I heard Les Brown, I heard Les Brown talk. Sorry, I just put my finger again over the screen. I'm using an iPhone 14. I haven't got um, a tripod stand. I'll have to invest in one. But anyway, I, I, I listened to this African-American by the name of Les Brown speak. And he was an eye-opener. He was an eye-opener. So I'm doing my usual walk. This is the big block I'm walking. The big block. So it was an eye-opener listening to Les Brown. And one of the things he said, continuing on from the part one, always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded. Another thing he said, always be prepared for an opportunity rather than an opportunity come and you're not prepared so should i repeat that he said always be prepared for an opportunity rather than an opportunity come and you're not prepared wow i just started my computer career then well, i'd say computer it career i was working in software it software testing engineering, testing software, etc. I was at a large company. I think the largest company in the UK. But I, I was a, I would, I was on a particularly paid high contract. It was, a, it was a pretty low paid contract. Regular money. At the time I was, you know, there. I was there. And again, his words always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded and always, always be prepared for an opportunity rather than an opportunity come and you're not prepared. Oh, lots of cars, lots of cars, quite early. It's quite early but there's lots of cars driving up and down. You saw that yellow cab just pass. Yeah, so it really got me thinking. It really got me thinking. It really got me thinking. And I tell you, I realized in the line of work I was doing, it wasn't particularly highly paid. But if you were contracting, if you're contracting, wow, you could basically treble or quadruple your money.
but not many of the people I was working with would go out and be willing to do the contracting. Contracting is you basically become self-employed, you're working for yourself, you have to have a limited company, you get paid for your limited company, it changes. But there was a chap I was working with too. There was a chap, there was a young English chap I was working with and he left and he started contracting. He started contracting him and he came back. After a few months contracting, he came back to visit me at the old workplace. He had a new convertible car and he said to me, wow, Redmond man, you still here? I said, yeah, I'm still here. He said to me, why aren't you contracting? He said, why aren't you contracting? He said, you know this stuff back to front and you know, you know much more than me. He said, you know much more than me. He was a few years younger than me and he just looked at me and he said, you know much more than me. He said, you used to stay late every day. You used to stay late every day just learning and sucking this information in about this, this system. And he goes, you're ready, you know everything. And it went back to um, Les Brown telling me, always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded. Always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded. And it all, everything just kind of lined up. There's a couple walk, walking with a German Shepherd. Everything just lined up. Everything just lined up. And it's, it's kind of like from that day, from that day, I decided. I decided. I decided. Some things have to change. Some things have to change. And for me, they really did change. They really did change. Just crossing this road. I'm putting my finger over the lens again. And as you can see, it says walk. It says go. Green, green man means go. Anyway, I said things really have to change. Les Brown was speaking to me. Always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded. Fly with the eagles. Another thing you say, fly with the eagles and stop scraping with the chickens. Fly with the eagles. And just like that, I said, I said, I'm going to make some changes. And I started applying for just, I just started applying for the bigger contracts. I just started applying for the bigger contracts. Another thing he said was, people are so negative. People are so negative that they have to say no at least four times before they say yes. So I got, a, I got an interview basically with a company. It's a company called Sainsbury's, the largest, one of the largest supermarkets um, chains in the UK. And it was for a new IT system they were developing. It was, it was actually ICL were developing. The company I was working for, ICL, the biggest um, IT company in their field, were producing an EPOS, electronic point of sale system for Sainsbury's. And the contract for Sainsbury's, if I went and was contracting for Sainsbury's, it'd be basically paying me about four times what I was earning at ICL. Maybe three and a half times I was earning at ICL. So I basically just applied for the contract for Sainsbury's. Go for the big, go and apply. If you've got the knowledge, apply for the higher paying contracts. Don't be afraid, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Remember Les Brown's words. Les Brown's words. Always reach for the top because the bottom is overcrowded. So I went for the, I went for the, the big juicy contract. And I went for, basically the highest paid contract contracts on the team. There's 
two positions for the highest pay, <laughs> paid contract to the team. I applied, got an interview. It was a guy, it's funny enough, it was a, a guy from, well, um, Guyanese, Guyanese, um, Guyanese um, background, parentage. He's a UK born chap. He had a degree and a master's, a degree and a master's, unlike me. And I had an interview with him, it was a chap called Tony. And I sat down with him, I said, well, Tony, I want to um, apply for this position. I've got the experience. I'm already working with the guys who developed the software on ICL. I already work with the guys who developed the software for ICL. So naturally, I'm the right person for, for the job. Naturally, I'm the right person for the job. But still, but still I wasn't quite convinced he was going to give me that contract. And it came to mind what Les Brown had also said. Most people are so negative, they sometimes have to say no four times before they say yes. Anyway, to cut a long story short, when the interview had finished and I'd gone home and thought about it, I decided to call Tony on his mobile number. True story. I boldly, I called Sainsbury's head office. I said I had Tony's mobile and I uh, misplaced it. They gave it to me. I called Tony, I said, hey, Tony, you know who this is. We had that interview earlier today. You know I'm the right person for I'm the right person for the job. I'm the right person for the job. He goes, yes, but, you know, we've got to see other people. I said, you know, I'm the right person for the job. I am the right person for the job because I've already worked with the uh, developers in ICL. They're the ones who are going to be writing the software. I've done testing. I've done EPOS testing. I know the systems inside out. Not just the testing, I also support the systems. You know, I, I support those systems across the UK. So I said, Tony, you must admit I am the right person for that position. I am the right person for that position. He goes, you know what? I'm gonna, you're going to know tomorrow. I go, you can't tell me that. He goes, no, you're going to know tomorrow. And true as he said it, first thing... The following morning, I got a call. I got a call from the agency and he said, Redwin man, good news. I said, really? He said, Redwin man, good news. I said, really? He said, Redwin man, good news. I said, really? He said, very good news. We've, we've also even got you a higher rate We've even got you a higher rate than you were expecting. I said, wow, wow. Little did he know that I had already closed the deal. I had already closed the deal the night before. I had already closed the deal because you have to take, you have to take you have to take control sometimes of your own destiny. You have to take control of your own destiny. So I had already, <laughs> I had already closed that deal. Wow. Wow. And you see, when you're working in IT, when you're working in IT, well, especially in that field of IT, and you are contracting, your income explodes when you start contracting. It explodes. For me, I more or less quadrupled what I was earning in ICL. 
by going and contracting for Sainsbury's. Quadrupled! Wow! And you see, when, when you take those risks in life and come out of your comfort zone, when you take those risks in life and really come out of your comfort zone, it really does change your life. It really does change your life. But the first thing is, I had to have the education. I had to have the education. So I learned the EPOS system. When I got into the company, I learned the EPOS system inside out. I learned the EPOS system inside out. And only when I knew the EPOS system inside out, I was able to apply for that role in Sainsbury's. So again, it goes back to what Les Brown says. It goes back to what Les Brown says. Always be prepared for an opportunity rather than an opportunity come and you're not prepared. So always be prepared for an opportunity rather than an opportunity come and you're not prepared. So for the 18 months I was at ICL, I used to stay back late. When all the staff had gone, I would stay back late. It was an hour drive to ICL from where I was living at that time. At least an hour's drive. I was That was in Stevenage. But I would stay back late every day. I would learn that system inside out. Inside out. I'll tell you something. When I, when I first got into ICL, I blagged my way in a bit. I blagged my way in. Because, yes, I'd done... I had done a computer course I've done my um, my net computer networking course but certain things when I went to the interview in um, with the agency and they said oh can you build an NT4 server some, some of you mostly won't know it, what this is but basically it's building a back office server and loading the software etc I said yes now in theory I knew how to do it in theory, I knew how to do it. I'd done it on my course. But I had never done it in a commercial environment. I had, ne I had never done it in a commercial environment. But I still said, yes. If you want me to build NT4 servers, no problem. I can do it. And guess what? On the first day starting a contract with ICL, what did they do? What did they ask me? Oh, can you go and build those servers? They gave me a disc and said, can you build those servers? I hadn't a clue how to build the servers. Well, I knew I didn't know how to build those particular servers. And luckily enough, there was some guy called Craig at the time. He looked at me, he was a young guy. He's a very, um, very talented person. Boffin when it comes to computers. And he looked at me and <laughs> just like, I just kind of shaved my head and he came and he showed me to do it a few times. And from then, he mentored me until I was up to speed. And then that was it, basically. Once you give me a foot in the door, put me in the right direction, I'm not going to let that go. I'm not letting that go. You understand that all of these guys I was working with, most of them, they had been university. Some of them had masters. Masters degrees, university degrees. They hadn't um, done a Microsoft courses. They've done all these <laughs> Microsoft courses. I just went in with my city and girls learn the stuff on the job learn the same stuff they're doing but I learned on the job and I became good at it in fact very good but they put me on when they developed the software they wanted me to support the software support the software right throughout the country and I was right up there not on first line support not on second line support I was on third line support and the only people above me were the actual people who write the software and some of them were based in um, Finland there was a couple based in the UK 
And even when I was supporting the software, they said, if you really learn this stuff inside out, they go, you could be earning a lot of money, young man. You'll be one of the few specialists who could support this. And hence, I used to stay working, sucking the information in, sucking it in, sucking it in. And eventually, eventually, that led to the lucrative contract with Sainsbury's. And basically, Yeah, basically that led to the lucrative contract in Sainsbury's and that's when I started really contracting. But think back then, it was oh, it's so many years ago and no degree, no masters and I was earning what head teachers earn. <laughs> I was earning basically the same as head teachers in the UK. Come on. And that's because, because, let's go back to the conversation. That's because of getting the right mentors, getting the right people in your life, getting the right people who can propel your life, getting the right people who can move you to the next level. Getting the right people who can move you to the next level. Look at that church across that road. What I'm saying is getting the right people in your life who can propel you to that next level. People who believe in you. People who can see the potential in you. People who can see the potential. You have to move around with the right people. It's pointless moving, um, moving around with giddy people giggling all the time. But when it actually comes to propelling your life, especially the young men, especially you young men, you have to surround yourself with the right people. Young men, you have to surround yourself with the right people. Get the right mentors, people who can elevate your life. People who can point you in the right direction and really elevate your life. Now for me, I was glad that chap invited me, that chap Robin and his wife, it was Robin. In fact, it was a guy through, um, Robin came through me, to me, through a, a friend who was in sales many years before, a guy called Calvin. He put Robin onto me. He put Robin onto me. So it was a guy called Calvin. He put Robin onto me. And through Calvin, introduction to Robin, and Robin introduction to Amway, and Amway putting me onto, putting me onto Les Brown. Wow, so much things. I just passed this chap. I just passed this chap um, on my walks and he's come around this big block already. He's, he's just, I, I don't know, he's like magic. It's like he's got a twin. Anyway, I got a put onto Les Brown and those powerful words, they all connected. They, they just connected with me at that time in my life. And that was enough to push me onto the next level. At that time, at that time, even things were getting expensive in the UK. Things were getting expensive in the UK, especially housing, especially housing. I remember I'd, I'd already bought um, an apartment actually. I'd already bought an um, a small apartment 
but making that step to the next level going for that higher contract within a couple of years I also had a house I also had a house I also had a house and that's taking that step and going look at the clouds look at those clouds there going anyway it was taking those bold steps and going to the next level because I had found the right mentors. So guys, if you, had follow, if you have followed me, kept up with me so far, I really do thank you and I do appreciate you listening and your company, your company on these walks. But what I would say to you, find the right mentors. Find the right people who can put you in the right direction. If you want, if you want to be something, really go for something in life, you want to be a particular thing in life, find people who are successful in that field, who you can, who you can mirror. Find mentors in that field who you can mirror because you will get to where you want to much quicker. You will get to where you want to much quicker. Remember what Les Brown says, always be prepared for an opportunity rather than rather than opportunity come and you're not prepared so prepare from now depending on what field you you really want to get into prepare study do courses do apprenticeships do online courses really if, if you have to um volunteer volunteer but get into that field and really get to grips with what you want to do. Get it, you know, really immerse yourself in that profession. So when that opportunity comes, you are prepared. Another thing, remember, if somebody says no to you the first time, don't take it personal. People sometimes need to say no a few times before they say yes. But still, don't give up. Don't give up on your first or second yes. You keep on persevering. And lastly, if you followed me thus far, if you followed me thus far and you're still listening, these, these words can really propel your life. I'm telling you, they can propel your life. If you followed me so far, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And you're going to get more motivational talks like this. You'll get to know exactly what I'm doing. You'll be kept notified of when I put out, put out new updates. And if you really like the videos, hit the like button. Because it shows you are a good human being. You're not one of those red-eyed people, grudgeful people who just listen and twist up your mouth. And, anyway, forget that. Hit the like button. Hit the like button it helps the youtube algorithms promote the videos to more people and what we want to do is build up a community of like-minded go-getters like-minded go-getters who can help each other out help each other out and of course you can have discussions in the chats about the video so you're helping yourself also when you hit the like button and i will say your help in the matter is most appreciated absolutely most appreciated so all i'll say for now guys is thank you for your company it's been good talking i hope you do remember the name les brown because he has been a great uh, motivator for me you can look him up on youtube you can get his cds but he's on youtube look him up on youtube he, he's a definitely a great motivator for me and really propelled me from one level to the next and all i've got to say guys is see you guys in the next video bye for now